If you believe that the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC could not possibly get much worse, you would have been severely mistaken, mainly due to the fact that numerous legal developments have occurred since the SEC filed an appeal against the Ripple ruling. The Securities and Exchange Commission SEC is currently facing a full-blown conflict, with several institutions suing and coming after the agency. This is in addition to the fact that SEC legal executives are at risk of losing not only their jobs but also their licenses. A Ripple and XRP were the catalysts that started it all. This is, of course, incredibly significant news, and now we are witnessing strong signals that XRP will soon undergo mass acceptance and a price explosion as the regulations governing cryptocurrencies in the United States are getting closer than they have ever been. I, in the first place, it is now plainly visible that the SEC is in a state of disintegration. It was just a few days ago that the Securities and Exchange Commission CC made the announcement that their enforcement director, Gerber Gerwal, will be leaving the agency on October 11th, which is two days away from today. In a recent story, Bloomberg suggests that Gerber Gerwal will be moving to Millbank Law later this month. Millbank Law is the precise location where George Canellos, who once served as the co-director of enforcement for the Securities and Exchange Commission and is presently representing Binance, resides. As a result, we are now witnessing two senior former SEC legal heavyweights leaving that agency and shifting team working with cryptocurrency rather than against it. This is a very significant development and is just one of a number of significant errors that the SEC has witnessed, specifically within the past week. Next up, we have this breaking report from the Crypto Basic and the Crypto Bubbies, which states that SEC executive George G. Torino is facing a bar complaint after signing off on the appeal against Ripple and its founders. This information comes from the Crypto Breaking News. The fact that a senior member of the Securities and Exchange Commission CCC is now in danger of losing his license as a result of his unlawful behavior towards the cryptocurrency industry, in particular against Ripple and XRP, is actually leading to the destruction of these individuals' careers. A number of people, including myself, were suspicious about whether or not the Securities and Exchange Commission would appeal the ruling on Ripple, and this is one of the reasons why. The agency would suffer more negative consequences than positive ones as a result of this appeal against Ripple, which was filed on October 2nd, and it was in conflict with the decision that Judge Torres had made. Tenadero has a pattern of engaging in illegal behavior, since he was also involved in the Debot case, in which the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC used evidence that was both manipulative and fraudulent in order to prosecute them. Additionally, he was involved in the case in which the CEO accused the SEC of distorting the facts. My sense is that this is beginning to resemble a pattern that I've heard before. As stated by Congress, Gary Gensler has transformed the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, which was formerly a highly regarded organization, into a rogue agency that appears to believe they are beyond the law. I. T is time to put an end to this, as we are now, ideally, only a few weeks away from reaching a definitive resolution. Both Coinbit and Crypto.com have been engaged in a conflict with the Securities and Exchange Commission CC. Again, the regulations governing cryptocurrencies in the United States are much closer than you might expect. We are on the verge of witnessing a rise in the price of XRP and other cryptocurrencies. Due to the fact that there is a significant amount of money that can be made in this sector right now before the international adoption is fully here, I decided to develop a Discord server that is open to everyone who wants to join. We are now working towards reaching financial independence, disseminating knowledge wherever we can, and spreading alpha wherever we can. There are 80 of us working towards these goals. To become a member, please click on the link that is provided in the description below. The cryptocurrency bull run is still months away, if not weeks away, as I indicated earlier. The Securities and Exchange Commission SEC has recently sent a worldwide notice to Crypto.com, which indicates that time is running out not only for you but also for the SEC. Crypto.com has decided to take the Ripple approach and they are suing the SEC in response to the world's notice. They are challenging the SEC's overreach in regulating the majority of crypto assets. In essence, it is a warning that the agency is planning to sue you. However, rather than rolling over and waiting to see what happens, Crypto.com has decided to take the opportunity to challenge the SEC's overreach in regulating most crypto assets. Which is crazy to me. Despite the fact that there are indications from both parties TFAC that Congress has admitted that the SEC's had a 1-2-1, despite the fact that they have decided to double down and try to fight and destroy the crypto industry as much as they possibly can until the very end. Thankfully, Gary Gensler's reign may be just a few weeks away at this point. Dan Gallagher, the chief legal officer of Robinhood, is the candidate of choice to succeed Gary Gensler as chair of the Securities and Exchange Commission in the event that Donald Trump is elected president. In light of the fact that Robinhood has a very strong cooperation with Ripple, this would be a significant amount of XRP, and we can most certainly see and anticipate that the entire Ripple lawsuit will be abandoned on the spot. Gary Gensler is not liked by anyone, which is one of the reasons why you might consider supporting Donald Trump if you so want. Therefore, it is clear that the noose is becoming increasingly tighter around Gary Gensler's neck, and it appears that Coinbase is also taking action to make things as tough and as tight around the neck as they possibly can be for Gary Gensler and the SEC. I would like to reiterate that the SEC appeal was, in my opinion, obviously foolish, and it has resulted in a significant amount of backlash, as Coinbase has now lost sight of the Ripple SEC appeal.
In a recent letter, the organization is requesting that the judge allow its own request for an appeal about an interlock tree. It is their intention to deliver their argument concurrently with Ripple. This would be a legendary team-up, similar to that of Batman and Superman, in which they would work together to defeat the protagonist on the battlefield. This is a pretty astute move on the part of Coinbase, given the SEC's appeal and Ripple actually enhances their own argument. To tell you the truth, it is difficult to predict whether or not anything big will take place before the election. However, depending on the outcome of the election, that might be the deadline to see the acceleration of crypto mainstream acceptance in the United States with Donald Trump becoming victorious. However, despite of the fact, according to Smoke here, in these institutional documents that I am going to show you, there are now big signals that the proposed regulations for cryptocurrency in the United States are almost ready to be implemented. As can be seen, the United States Congress has written a letter to the chairman of the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation FDIC, Martin Grunberg, requesting details regarding the rapid adjustment that the FDIC has made regarding regulations pertaining to digital assets. Last but not least, Congress is taking action. Efforts are being made to discover the reason why the FDIC has ceased establishing regulations for cryptocurrencies, and the deadline was set for yesterday, October 7th, so quickly. In the same way that the SEC's internal communications will be made public, we will be provided with vital information. You might be surprised to learn that the acceleration of blockchain mass adoption has begun, and that regulatory certainty is almost here sooner than you might anticipate. At the end of the day, this is what we are waiting for, regulation, as stated by Christine Lagarde, president of the European Central Bank, in his interview. In essence, this is what we are waiting for, is the precise time that we have been anticipating and longing for. Observe the regulations that follow. In preparation for the G7 meeting, I am currently in Niigata, which is located in Japan. There are Japanese farmers in this area, and I am currently holding these stunning peonies that they have grown. This is the most beautiful period of the journey right now. Following that, there will be two days of non-stop sessions, during which we will examine a wide range of topics including CBDC, the regulation of cryptocurrencies, and the stability of the financial system the macroeconomic situation, and it is a good opportunity for me to discuss with other colleagues and compare notes, as well as to see how we can make the globe a little bit more stable and arrive at this price stability that we very much want to arrive at in a short amount of time. On the basis of the forthcoming cryptocurrency rules in the United States and the fact that XRP is the only asset on the market that possesses legal regulatory clarity, I am convinced that the price of XRP is about to skyrocket. Institutions have come to the realization that this is the case. An exchange-traded fund ETF for XRP has previously been submitted by Bitwise, Grayskull owns an XRP trust, Robinhood has reintroduced XRP, and now Canary Capital has formally submitted a Nest one to the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC for an XRP ETF. Right now, they are all making the transition to XRP. Considering that the verdict has already been rendered, the appeals that were filed by the SEC are no longer relevant. Even though XRP is not a security, it is going to skyrocket to the moon, therefore you should get ready while you still have the chance, conduct your own research, or even better, Come to Chilter and learn more in a few days so that you can go server again. The links are provided below. Keep in mind that you should instead focus on the long term and not the short term, and I'll see you in the next one.